Hello everyone, today I am going to create this complex slope roof design in Revit using the roof command. But before we start, let me ask you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start. Open a new architectural template file in Revit. So, uh, there are basically two levels on which you can uh, place the roof. Uh, I'm going to add a one more level at a height of 15 feet as shown in the north elevation. Then go to the level 2 and then select this roof command and draw the boundary for the roof. Uncheck this define slope because uh, I'm not going to use this uh, built-in slope. After uh, creating the boundary, click OK and the, and the flat roof has been built. Now I am going to play, move it to level 3. So yeah, that's OK now. Uh, select this wireframe display option. After that, select this model line command and draw the top view for the roof. So now I have placed all the model lines according to the top view plan for the roof design and after that select it and click on add split line and then add these split lines on the model lines as you can see in the video. The purpose of the model line is to help us place the split lines at their position. Now select the roof, hide it and then select all these model lines and delete them. Now unhide the roof, then go to the 3D, select this roof, click on modify sub elements command here and then click here, click here and add the value of 8 feet. Then click on the center uh, button and add the value of 8 feet and then on this third button as well points basically so now i have placed uh, created the uh, sloped roof as you can see in the video now go to the level 3 floor plan and select the roof command and draw a triangle as shown in the video After drawing the boundary, click OK, then select this roof and add a split elements as shown at the center, then go to the 3D. This new roof is not visible, check this wireframe display option, then go to the east elevation, here also select this wireframe option, select this roof and then click on modify elements and drag the arrows to meet it towards the upper side drag the second point which is the middle point of the roof of that triangle and place i'm going to place a model line after placing the reference plane here like this so that i can attach the other point at here delete the model line and now as you can see i have attached an other roof to the previous one using the join command now go to the level 2 floor plan and from here make sure that we have these uh, upper 
roof display then again select the roof command and draw the boundary for this roof as shown in the video After drawing the boundary, click OK. Then in from the architecture tab, select model line. Make sure wireframe display is visible. And then draw the uh, top view plan for this part of the roof as shown. Now select the roof and add the split lines on, the, on those model lines. Now hide the roof, select all the model lines and delete them. Now go to the 3D and make sure wireframe view is visible so that you can see all the points. Then I am going to add elevation values to the points as shown. The design for this slope roof is now complete and as you can see how easy it is to create this type of roofs in Revit. Now go to the front elevation uh, I'm in the 3D view or you can go in the elevation mode. Then click on model in place and select walls from this uh, dialog box. Click OK then select the extrusion command. Set the reference plane to this surface and draw a triangle like this add the extrusion end and extrusion start values according to the design Now again select the extrusion command, set the reference plane to this to this surface and draw another triangle, triangular wall as shown. Now go to the 3D and as you can see this has been extruded outside so select it double click on it to add the model in place mode and add these minus values on both of the, on the extrusion and extrusion start values of both these walls so that they are extruded towards the opposite side so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe